Hey everyone, Tracy and Dustin here hey from DustinandTracy.com and we just wanted to shoot this quick video because we just got finished reading The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy and we wanted to share one of our biggest takeaways with you about creating momentum in your business. Uh, he starts off the book by talking about Newton's law of motion, which basically states that an object at rest stays at rest, an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. And so that explains why you might have some friends who seem to be couch potatoes, got in a habit of watching TV every night, and their life doesn't seem to change, whereas you have other friends who are out there doing consistent actions and getting massive success. And it seems like the more success they get, the faster and more they get more of that. And so we just wanted to share some insight we got from that book. Now, another thing I want to touch base on with Tracy's just saying is you got to think of your business kind of like a merry-go-round, okay? When it, it, dick of a merry-go-round. Somebody gets on it, they start moving it around in circular motions. It's going to take a little more effort, okay, to get past that inertia. You got to move faster. You got to get some momentum, get going, so your business starts to get built up. Eventually, over time, those small, daily, consistent actions are going to lead to the momentum phase, and it's just creating con consistent growth. And that's how you have to treat your business. You have to work on those small, daily, consistent actions, will lead to massive results over later time. Go ahead, Trace. So in the beginning, like he's saying, it's going to take a bigger burst of energy. It's going to take more work because you've got to push through that inertia that's up against you. But eventually, it's going to your your business is going to start to take off on its own. It's going to require less effort because of that initial work that you put in in the beginning. So we're going to start now and give you our five tips. All right. Step one is is uh, creating a morning routine. The reason why this is you need to create a morning routine is because there, you get distractions throughout the day, start getting you off task, and because you have a morning routine, it gets your day started. You know, since we read this book a, a little over a week ago, I've implemented something that I've never been able to do, which has been a really big flaw of mine, was waking up in the morning and having that passion and excitement. So what we've done is we write down, wake up, have coffee, read for 30 minutes after eating breakfast and having coffee and getting ready for the day. And then what, what Trace and I have done is we created, based on our goals, a daily action plan of list of things that we've got to knock out in the morning. So if those distractions get in the way and life gets in the way, you've already completed those tasks for the day for your business. All right, so step two is to create an evening routine. And this is where you're going to kind of cash out at the end of the day. You're going to go over what your intentions and goals were for that day and what you actually ended up accomplishing. And what a lot of people are going to find is that you don't tend to get to everything that you had planned to get to. And that might be where your lack of results are coming from. So you really want to start to pay attention to what you're getting accomplished uh, in regards to what you actually set out to do and make sure you roll over anything to the next day that you didn't get to accomplish that day so you make sure that you do get it done. This is also a great time for you to brainstorm any ideas or aha moments you had from that day, get out a journal and just jot things down so that you can always be improving and expanding your business and yourself. And finally, this is also where you can read a book or listen to something positive inspirational so that you're ending your evening really in instilling beliefs and positive mindsets so that you're going to sleep on that and wake up with an even better mindset the next morning. All right, so step three is going to be shake up your routine. Now, you want to keep staying consistent on your actions that you're doing, but sometimes what happens is if you hit a plateau and you really don't know what's going on, why you're not getting the same results, what you need to do is just shake up that routine a little by maybe just adding like a new skill that you want to learn, maybe go to the park, start going on like a little trip or something to add in throughout the day, maybe read a good book or, uh, you know, go to a cooking class and learn something just to shake it up. And that will help you boost your, uh, you know, boost your results again in your business. Step four, and this is to plan ahead. This is probably one of the most crucial things that we got from that, this book. And that is that every Sunday now, we actually sit down and write out a list of all the things we want to accomplish that week, the goals we want to hit, everything that we could possibly think of that we want to make happen in that week's time frame. And once we brainstorm that whole list, this is where you're brainstorming freely. You're not worrying about scheduling it yet. You're just going to brainstorm. Then once we get that list, we break it down into manageable tasks and kind of in, ingrain that into our daily action plan. And this is huge because I see a lot of people struggle simply because they wake up every day and they don't know what they're doing. They kind of just go through the day fumbling around and really just struggling only because they never set intentions and they never set plans. And this is going to take out the guesswork from, from your life completely. You're going to know exactly what you need to do day in and day out that week. You can even plan 
months at a time, really break them down into daily action plans, but know where you're going. And that's going to help you create these very detailed plans that keep you on track for your goals. All right, now this brings us to step five, and this is very important step, is tracking your results and your behaviors. Now, something that we finally just started to implement, or me basically really just started to get into, was actually tracking results, being able to actually get the metrics down in your business to start seeing where you're putting your time into, what are you actually doing in the actions, and what's actually happening because of the actions that you're taking. Do you need to test and tweak? Well, how do you know if, some, if, a, if, if something that you're doing is actually getting results if you don't even know what's going on? So definitely want to start tracking your results and get, getting out there and taking uh, initiative in that. Yes, tracking is absolutely huge. It's going to show you where your results are coming from, what you can do more of, and it's going to show you where your lack of results <laughs> might be stemming from. So definitely one of the most important steps of the five. And so that does conclude the five steps. We hope that you got value from this. If you did, go ahead and comment below, share this video, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care and have a good day. Thank and you. take action and implement. Yes, do that now. That's the biggest part. Bye.